expected you ages ago. I went to the wool pack. Oh, thanks a lot. Thought was a point in asking Christopher to babysit James. It's your idea, you tell me. So we could talk. No, Zoe. So you could talk. What I wanted never came into it. What do you want? I want to make up my own mind. I'm just confused. A baby. It's a big step. You're too young. No, not really. I want to have children young. What if I don't we have one? It's hard to explain. I mean, I know there'll be legal problems and a donor will be hard to find, but we can get over that. Oh, no, Zoe. It's not the law or the donor. What then? I just want a rational explanation. Why do you keep talking as if we're buying a new washing machine? Not everything is rational. I'm sorry. I do want to have children of my own. And yes, I do think we'd make good parents, but tell me. Okay. If you really want to know, I think a child should have a mum and a dad, not two mums. What? Where I feel. Is this an emergency? Have you had a phone? No. Just making an early start on calls. Have you got time for coffee? I've had one. Please, Zoe. I don't want to go to work without talking to you. I think you said everything you wanted to say last night. But by surprise. I know where me and Biff. That's just it, though, isn't it? For you and Biff, having a baby would be normal. She'll come round, Zoe. No. Whatever doubt she might have had about her sexuality, I think this has made us both realise that it's wrong. But sooner or later... If she gets used to the idea. No, Linda. There comes a point where you just know it's not worth going on. I don't think I can take any more. Emma, Susie, Dad, all this business with Kim. Is it so wrong that I want someone of my own to love? Or do you mean Sophie or a baby? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Oh, Farry. Sorry? Oh, come on, quickly. Oh, Linda. If you don't choose, I will. Say it again. Well, to be more specific, Jamaica or Thailand? I'm going to have to set this doggy on if you don't start making sense. They've got the most ridiculous offers on both. A holiday? Right! So, which one? Well, I'm surprised you haven't chosen for me. Actually, I've asked him to hold Jamaica because I've got his all-inclusive hotel. Oh, you're serious? Yes, very. You fly from Heathrow tomorrow. No, I couldn't possibly. I found not need this place. So we can ring up and cancel Paddy then? No, Linda. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've got to let them know. Come on, help me with this dog. <laughs> I'm late. Kim was out. She's only just come back. What's going on? Holiday. Zoe, I can't. Just you. I need time, like you did. This is about last night. It's about a lot more than just last night. Well, where are you going, Jamaica? And for how long? Zoe, please, you're being silly. Oh, I don't think so. I'm catching the seven o'clock from these Bradford to Heathrow in the morning, so. I'm going down to a hotel tonight. What about me? Well, you're welcome to stay here. It's entirely up to you. Does that laugh? She's gone on holiday. What? When? She's gone to the Caribbean. And if you want to tell the world, it's because she wanted a baby and I didn't. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't agree with it, you see. I think children should be brought up in a proper family, not by a couple of freaks. I would be well. <laughs> Come on, Betty, that's exactly what you think. A child needs a father, stable home life. No, well, well I'm not the sort to pack a <laughs> comment. All right, madam. If that's what you want to hear, no. 
I don't think this is a proper place for a kiddie. Oh, I'm sure you and Zoe would make ruddy good mothers, but... I'm not sure either one of you is cut out to be a father. Well, it didn't take you long to find out what was happening. As a matter of fact, I told her. Oh, and uh, you didn't think it was private? Something for you and Zoe to sort out? <laughs> well, you obviously knew Linda. Oh, she had to talk to somebody. And why couldn't that be me? Just because I didn't want a baby doesn't mean she has to go halfway across the world to sulk. You were the one bleating on about commitment not so long back. What more commitment is there than having a child together? You really don't have a clue, do you? Who's that? <laughs> His name's Nick Sheard. Isn't he gorgeous? Mm. Where's Zoe? On a beach in Jamaica by now. I didn't realize she was going away. Neither did I. Oh. Yeah, quite. With men, you can rely on them to cheat on you, lie to you, disappoint you. But women, well, we're not like that, are we? Don't kid yourself, Rachel. Loving a woman screws you up every bit as much as loving a man. You want a drink? I better not. You're usually a party girl. And then I'd regret it totally. Oh, yes, which dingle. I'm standing on the table at the Woolpack announcing I love Zoe. Do you? I'm sorry she's not here. I'm knocking them back a bit. Sorry, Nanny. <laughs> so you can get through this, isn't it? It's my party. I'm surprised at you and Steve. Steve's a terrific guy. I know. That's why you should be absolutely certain. <sighs> this is incredible. Not one person in this place thinks I should go through with it. Do you? God, I don't know. It's all happened so quickly. He was making arrangements before I could even think. One day I've been thinking. It should be David. Isn't that terrible? It is if you don't tell Steve. Not stand on a table and announce it. <laughs> You've done worse. Be a <laughs> There are other ways, like talking to him. <laughs> oh, thank you. I could have done with you earlier. The German Shepherd with Goldstone. <laughs> You'll be alone and get my case. You're very late. What's so. What's up? What's happened? She'll have to know something. Oh, don't tell me. Kim sacked you for putting on James's nappy backwards. And I don't want to hear anything about work, Paddy, because I'm not interested. Linda's dead. What? Car crash. Last week. There's no way of letting you know. I'm so sorry, Zoe. Oh, 